Hey guys, Brendo New Productions here. And today I'm going to show you how to theme your 7-zip file manager to be all black. So what we're going to be doing is taking the 7-zip look and changing all these colored buttons to black because I'm not a fan of the colorful buttons. Okay, so first thing you're going to need is actually called Resource Hacker, which allows you to change the color of anything or change anything inside a program. So we're going to just uh, Google ResHack or ReShack if you read it closely. Okay, and then the first link will be AngusJ.com slash Resource Hacker. You're just going to want to download it from this page. Okay, then the second thing we're going to need is actually called GIMP which is a free image manipulation program so it's pretty much a free alternative to Photoshop I'm sure you've heard of it but you're just gonna wanna download that and then we're gonna get to work right away so first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up res hacker which is in the folder you installed res hacker to so open it up and you get this very nice interface with blankness then you go to where 7-zip is installed and you're just going to want to drag the 7-zip exe into res hacker it is called 7zfm.exe okay so once you drag it in you're going to see all these folders with all the files that 7-zip is made up of what we're looking at right now or what we want to look at is the bitmap folder because those buttons on top are pictures which are bitmaps so we're going to open up all the subfolders we're going to start with the first one and if you notice it is the plus button from the 7-zip file manager so we want to take this green plus button and change it to black so we're going to right click it on and press copy and then we're going to open it up in GIMP simply open up GIMP and then press control V to paste it in then we're going to use the magic wand tool to select everything in green once you click on the green it should automatically select it then you're going to want to use the paintbrush tool make sure it's a pretty big circle and change the color to black and then just go over the picture then you're going to want to unselect it using the rectangle tool and if you notice we already have a little black plus sign just going to want to press file save as I'm going to make a new folder on the desktop called seven zip black okay now that we're in 7 zip black I'm gonna name this to plus dot bitmap okay I'm just gonna save it then we're gonna to wanna to exit out of this and make room for a new one we're gonna to wanna to select the next bitmap which is the minus symbol we're gonna do the same thing right click copy control V to paste it into GIMP use the magic wand tool to select the plus symbol then take the big black circle and rub it run over it sometimes the magic wand tool doesn't like to select it if you just click once so click it twice then you're just going to want to save the image so I'm going to minus dot bitmap okay then we're going to select all these other bitmaps so these symbols too I'm just going to do this real fast since you probably get the process now when you get to this arrow thing you're going to want to double click with the magic wand tool inside the arrow then hold control to select more items and then you're going to want to double click on uh, in the oh no instead of holding control you're going to want to hold shift to select more items and then double click on that little box you should then have both selected and then you could use the paintbrush tool to color both okay 
And once you get to the small little plus, you can stop. You don't need to do the tiny plus. Okay, so once you're completed with all your images, you could X out of GIMP because you do not need that anymore. And then what we need to do is replace all these images with the image we made. So navigate to the image you want to replace, right click on the little gear symbol, and press replace resource. You're then going to want to press open file with new bitmap. Navigate to the folder where you saved your pictures that you just made and then choose the corresponding file. So this is plus, so I'm guessing it's plus. Then we just press replace and we have a black plus sign. Now we're going to do the same thing with all the other ones. Right click, replace resource, minus, replace. Right click, replace resource, replace. Right click, replace resource, replace. Okay, and then once you've replaced all the big items, all you have to do is press File, Save As, and then type in, go to uh, your the directory where 7-zip is, so mine is in C, Program Files, 7-zip, and then make a new file and replace the old one, so 7-zipfm.exe. I already have mine, so I'm going to name it 7-zipfm.2.exe. Once that's saved, you're just going to want to press Exit Out of Resource Hacker. And then once you navigate to the 7-zip directory again, you get a new one, 7-zip FM2. Once you open this up, you'll notice nothing changed. Now, I don't know why this happened. Let's see here. We open up a resource hacker. Now this could be a mistake you encounter too, so let's see what happened here. See, everything is the same, like everything is colored black in here, but for some reason, it didn't, oh! You need to right click on one resource and press save all resources. No you don't. I don't know. I'm just going to save it again. Update all resources in action. Nope. Okay, well, I just saved it again. Let's see if that does anything. No, it does not. Okay, so after pausing the video and uh, doing the whole thing over again, goodness gracious, um, I realized that instead of coloring all the big ones, you need to color all the big ones and also color all the small ones. So you're just going to do the same thing with all the small ones. Right click, copy, load it into GIMP, and make it black. Sorry for this, uh, what is it called? Sorry for this interruption, I guess you could say. But I'm going to put an annotation at the beginning of the movie. Okay, so thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe, and see you later.